to know what sort of paint's on the walls. If it's an oil-based paint, we need to buy an oil-based primer to go over it. If we're gonna use some methylated spirits, methylated spirits will tell us exactly what's happening, and just a clean rag. We're gonna put some methylated spirits on, and we're gonna rub the wall. And if nothing comes off, which it hasn't, that's oil-based paint. So that's how you tell so let's do this window, for example. Okay, you see that? Water-based paint. So they put water-based paint on these windows. So that's what's on here at the moment. And there's oil-based paint on here. Let's check this here. I already know by looking at it, but I'm just showing you. Clean. So that is oil-based paint. We need an oil-based primer to go over there. We've got a couple of other rooms we need to check. So we know all this room here is um, oil-based, windows are water-based. We're going to go up on the ceiling. So we have, you can have an oil-based paint up here. Uh, it's called flat enamel. So we've got a nice clean rag. Okay, so as you can see there, lots of paint come off that. So on the ceiling here, we have a water-based paint. So that means we don't have to put an oil-based undercoat up on this ceiling. So what we can do, we can just uh, cork it all up, gap it all up, uh, and we also gap this joint here, and we can spray uh, two coats on that. Now because we've got quite big gaps, um, if we put sealant flat on it, it'll crack out on those gaps. So we have to put a low sheen on these ceilings. So these ceilings have to have a low sheen on. You can't get out of it. Alright, now let's go to another room. We've got another wall here, so let's check that one. I already know by looking at it. Oil-based paint. We've got another room in here. Now this room was starting to peel, so I've got a feeling that they've put water-based on it, but they mightn't have. So let's just check. See, that's coming off a bit. You see the colour there? It's not a lot, but it's coming off a bit. Um, We'll try this one here. This is oil based. You won't get any colour off on that. But this one here, I think they've just put a water based paint on it. And that's why it's coming off like it is. I can't see anywhere else it's coming off, but once I start sanding it, it probably will. I mean, it doesn't seem to be water based. Yeah, I think it's still oil based. Um, and they've just put it over it. See, it hasn't, it has melted it a bit. So, yeah, yeah, that's a, that's a water base they've put over there. So the thing is, I don't have to put an oil-based undercoat on that wall. I probably will. Once again, all these windows are water-based. Now we're gonna hop up on the ceiling. This is a different ceiling again. Now you should really be doing this before you quote the house so you know how much work you gotta do. It's actually quite shiny, this one. Yeah, that's oil-based. It's satin enamel I've put up there. Or I put an oil undercoat and then just go your acrylic. See what happens. But yeah, that's a pain. That would've been nice to know because this would've been a much more expensive room because we've got some damage and uh, we've got that up there. Uh, these doors, I already know they're oil based just by looking at them. Nothing coming off. This ceiling will probably be an oil based as well. Mmm, not good, not good. <sighs> just going to put some methylated spirits on that rag. I'm just going to go somewhere on here. A bit dark, I know. Then we're just going to rub it. Yeah, see if any colour comes off. Okay, so there you go. It's acrylic paint on this wall here. So we're going to go into another room. Actually, we'll go into this room here. And like I said, I know it's dark. And we're going to try here. Okay, see the green coming off? 
let's try that again. But there's the green, so that's acrylic paint as well. So we can just use a normal undercoat on here. I would like, there's your green, I would like to see some um, oil based paint put in the kitchen because of the risk of fat and stuff like that. And we know the architraves are all oil based. So let's do the ceiling here. I've got a feeling it is uh, flat enamel. No, it is water based paint. So it's water based ceiling paint here. Okay, so up the top which is very, very important. I'm going to do it again. Pick a nice clean spot on the rag. Because every other ceiling in this house has been oil-based paint. Every ceiling has had to have an oil-based undercoat on it. Okay, um, let me just change hands. Okay, look at that. So it's water based. Now, this here, we can try this as well. Okay, there you go. So it's water based paint up here as well, which is good to know. We've got one more room to do. So we know the bathroom, the hallway is water based. Looks like they've been painted about the same time. Just do one more check in here. I'd say it's definitely water based because it's peeling off. You can see, look at that, it's coming right off. <laughs> so that's water based as well. Um, and the ceiling will be too because it was probably painted the same time as the rest of this other place. But you know that's that is oil based or water based. Let's have a look. You never know, you like. Yeah, water based. Okay, so that's how you tell. Very, very important that you do test that. Because if you don't test it, this is what happens. I'll just get a blade. And I shall show you something. they've done they put water-based paint over this old enamel this is behind a mirror but you can see all the stuff down there this whole lot really has to come off um, but I'm going not going to do it some of this is actually stuck reasonably well it seems to be just around the mirror but I'll do one here so that's what it looks like if you paint water-based paint over enamel. There was a section up there that I did an oil based undercoat and I'm going to show you what happens if you just paint over enamel without your undercoat. You know it wasn't important to me um, because it's up here. I'm just going to show you how important it really is. Look at that. <laughs> 